So this is day three of the install, basically a system handover. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks the system's been working for, um, and we've got David Walker from the college in. He's going to be firing a few questions at me as I talk through all the different components we've installed. So here we go. So this is the Tesla Powerwall. It's a 13 and a half kilowatt hour battery. Um, it's an AC coupled battery. You get two types of battery. You get an AC coupled or a DC coupled. Uh, AC coupled is slightly less efficient, but it's a lot more practical uh, installation wise because you can put it anywhere in the home. Um, the Tesla Powerwall <clears throat> is literally just a group of batteries uh, and in the top here there's a cooling system which uh, obviously, and, and battery management system, which keeps the, the batteries maintained and op optimal efficiency. Um, you can see there's local isolation here, AC isolator, cables come in here. We've got a six mil twin and earth and we've got some comms and control cables going in uh, to the battery, which links up with the gateway. The gateway is the brains of the power wall. It tells the power wall when to charge and discharge. So literally this is just a battery. Um, and then on the right hand side, on the, on the side of the power wall here, if you want to come around here, Lucy, to show you people. Uh, we've got a little reset switch, which uh, we uh, didn't really know what it was for until we had an issue. Uh, basically during a, a, a power cut situation where we simulated a power cut, the power wall um, was overloaded. So there was more power than running it. I think there was a five kilowatt load and it tripped the power wall and normally the power wall would come back on but in this particular scenario the power wall didn't come back on and uh, what we had to do was switch that off switch it back on again power came onto the property so um, that's a good little tip